Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today, Apple has just released iOS 13.1 Developer Beta 4. Now, this was anticipated. Apple should be releasing a new beta for iOS 13.1 from here on out every single week until September the 30th. September the 30th is when we'll see the official release for iOS 13.1. Now, of course, in these videos, I'd like to share with you guys what's new with the latest software. By the way, this is also available for public beta testers simultaneously. So developers and public beta testers right now can head on over to settings, general software updates, and iOS 13.1 developer beta 4 should populate for everyone right now, either developer or a public beta tester. Now, if we take a look here at the build number, we see 17A5 5844A, the A, the letter A towards the end of the build number signifies that we're getting close to an official release. As I mentioned, Apple is intending to release iOS 13.1 to everyone worldwide in approximately a week and a half on the 30th of September. That is when Apple will be releasing this software to everyone. Now, the software came in at approximately 129 megabytes. Now, I've seen 90 megabytes all the way up to 140 megabytes. That's going to depend, of course, from the software that you're updating from and your device as well. And there's a few changes coming with iOS 13.1 on the 30th for every single iPhone that supports the software, including the creating personal automations on your devices with the Siri shortcuts application and also creating home automations as well. Now, 13.1 also brings back the sharing ETA. So estimated time of arrival in maps can now be shared with 13.1 and this feature will make its way to the official final release. This one was intended for iOS 13.0, but Apple pushed it back a few days. So 13.1 will be bringing that feature including some tweaks to the uh, volume HUD. So the volume HUD will now display the actual AirPlay device or the actual Bluetooth device that's connected to the audio source when you're you know, listening to music using your headphones or whatnot. Now, another thing I am expecting with 13.1 is improvements to audio share where you can share the audio with multiple Bluetooth devices and manage the audio sources separately. Improvements to that should be coming with 13.1 as well. And one thing I've noticed right away with iOS 13.1 over the past two hours that I've had this software installed, I I shared my hotspot with another iPhone and I've noticed that low data mode turned on automatically or was recommended for me to turn this on. Now, as I was using the previous betas, I did not see this happen on my device. Um, I'm not sure why this is happening now, but it did suggest that the iPhone should go on low data mode to share data with other devices to, you know, improve the performance and also improve the connectivity between iPhones when using my hotspot with another iPhone. So iOS 13.1, uh, this beta, beta 4, does not have really any major changes that I can see right now. Of course, you guys can always anticipate my follow-up video, which should be coming in the next 24 to 48 hours, where I take a deeper dive and talk about some additional new features and changes as well as the battery and performance after using the software for several days i just wanted to share this quick update with you guys thank you for watching and i'll see you real soon peace